Welcome to Data Science Using Python. In this video, we're going to look at Tukey's HSD. HSD means Honestly Significant Difference Test. All right, so we're going to use the same data set as before. Uh, if you haven't looked at the ANOVA video, you should probably go back and look at that one because uh, we're going to pick up where we left off there. Otherwise, this will get way too long. Okay, make sure your working directory is correct. You would change it up here. Uh, we're using the Fructose data set, which is linked in the repository, so you might want to pause this and go get it if you don't have it. We're going to add something to our code here. So from stats models dot stats, we're gonna look there's a multiple comparison grouping, and we're gonna model this as SMM. We're gonna give that a label. And this has two keys HSD in it. Okay. So um, this is the box plot we got last time, and the reason I left it here is to show you that it looks like there's a difference here in the picture. Uh, we ran an ANOVA last time. This is the code that I used, uh, but it's redacted because there was a whole lot more about the hypothesis test listed there. Uh, however, you do get this p-value out of here, and our significance level was 0.023. And we rejected H0, which means we can go and do a multiple comparison test. There are differences to be found, so doing a post hoc test makes sense. If there's no differences to be found, don't go do a post hoc test because you already know there's no differences. So you're just wasting time and effort. All right, so how to do two keys HSD? Well, this is actually pretty easy. Okay, um, we're just going to have to change the way we write our code just like. Um, everything it seems like so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, make a new variable call it Tukey one and we're gonna use the SMM which came from stats model stats multi comp okay uh, dot and then pairwise and the little thing pops up here if you want to see what the help is it says endogenous and groups this just means your outcome variable and what's the grouping and what's your p-value or your significance level not your p-value all right, so um, here my endogenous uh, is, in our case, fr1.fructose. That's our outcome variable. What is our grouping is fr1 and variety. And our alpha is 0 0.023. Okay. And if I run this, let's see what happens. Um, nothing, no output. Uh, but that's not, we wrote it into a variable. If you were to run this by a yourself, you say, well, why did they write it into a variable? Well, if I run that by myself, this is what happens. It tells you the results are here. So this is a pointer to a place in memory where the results reside. And you're like, well, that's not helpful unless I understand pointers and we're trying to avoid them at all costs right now. Uh, so all I have to do is put in here to print Tukey1. And what it will do is we'll go to that location in memory and show us what's there. So let's run this real quick. And this is the output we get. So multiple comparisons of means, Tukey's uh, HSD, and then it's made my number 0 0.02 because it doesn't like 0 0.023. And it looks at groupings, groups A to B, which would be this group and this group. Um, it says the mean difference is 0 0.08. And should you reject saying that they're different? No, you shouldn't. A to C, nope. A to D, yep. From here to here, yep, those are different. Uh, from B to C, nah, doesn't look like it. From B to D, B this one to this one, nope. Uh, C to D, this one to this one, yes. Those are both yeses. Sorry, when I said nope. Uh, I meant yes, they're both true. So these are different. So this one is different than all the other ones. Okay, so this is pretty easy to do. Um, you might want to copy and paste this if you want to not have to run everything again. Uh, if you're going back and working on things differently. You know, different times, you can't do everything all at once. Instead of running everything again, you can just leave what's there. All right, so this is my um, table here. And you should always write down what you find out. So this, this shows that variety D has more fructose than the other varieties. 
And notice we didn't really say that the other varieties are the same. I mean, you can if you want to, but this one is different than the other ones. The, uh, and so you could always answer that. No, it, they're really not there. All right, so in the next video, we're going to start looking at how to test some of the assumptions. We're going to keep using the same data set, uh, keep things nice and consistent as we go through uh, the series of videos. So uh, I will see you there.